2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Luke, this player has got a massive lead, and sometimes those are the worst to have because you feel as a player the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up. And trust me, somewhere in the back of their mind, this player understands that. So it's going to be a nervy start, no doubt, to this final round. Let's wait to see what happens. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's tidy. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. Nice little pitch shot. Wonderful touch. Gets it to go. Mark me down for a three, thank you. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa right behind them. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Oh my, that was launched. Second shot on the second. Going with the pitching wedge here. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. And he's hit that inside the range. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, just missed. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. He sits in first position. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. T-shot is looking good here. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? The wind is at their back on this one. Looks to be going with the six iron. 
All right, bold. I like this play. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. A bit too much club there. And here we are with the third shot. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Can you hear those tweets? This is what they have left for birdie here. Ouch, that hurts. Big putt for Parry coming up. After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa close behind in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Teeing off here at the fourth. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. Better than most. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Well played, mate. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Wow, that drive. Incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Ah. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Good mid-range putt, this one. An 18-footer. This for a birdie, birdie run. Just didn't drop. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to tee off at the sixth.
Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. And choosing the eight iron here. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. He's currently sitting in first place. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Opting for the five wood. Always frustrated by missing a green. Well, they wanted to hit the fade, and unfortunately, they didn't. Always a tough shot to get out of. They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Oh, almost went in. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Well, oh, that's a nice line. That's impressive. Way to dig your way out of a hole. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Quality shot that one. Second shot here on the eighth. And he's safely on the green. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. He yeah, has about 14 feet to the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Opting for the nine iron. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. 
Wow, showing Will Zalatoris that this rivalry is indeed not to be taken lightly. Oh, good look at Birdie here. This one's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of their games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Yeah, that one will play. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. I expect more of the same this week. Lovely effort, that. Anytime you can make these putts, that'll certainly add up at the end of the day. Right on eight feet. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This one's looking good. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. And as we look at the scoreboard, they're currently in first with Harold Varna III in second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. That's heading for the fairway. Not bad. School card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Starting to look really good. And he holds it. What a putt. And after that top play, they currently hold top spot on the leaderboard with HV3 right behind them. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Coming off a birdie at the last, looking to add another one. Going with the five iron here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though.
that's frustrating. An opportunity to make a par here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. It's time to take a look at this 13th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Going with the six iron here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That's not your best effort. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? This is a par putt. Currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's begin the 14th. Absolutely tattooed that drive. This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Needs this one to kick right. Well, they've certainly got the swing and the groove. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. This looks good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Oh, that was mashed. Guns blazing here. They've got full attack mode on. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. 
Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this part 17 feet from the cup. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. And that's a great punt for an eagle. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. And as we look at the scoreboard, they're currently in first with Harold Varner III in second. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Opting for the six iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Steady now. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. That's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Short par falls to me are one of the best holes in the game. Do you get after it or lay back? If you're going to take out a driver, be mindful. The fairway does canter from right to left, so the golf ball could kick in that water hazard. Bailing out to the right, there's no shame in that. You always have an opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Didn't that look good for a long time? What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. This one's dialed in. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Looks like this one might be in the bunker. Time to step into the bunker now. Well, if you can make that big pass, and we'll save that bunker shot, that's for sure. Hold this part here and you'll sign off at a 58.
was a gallant attempt. And this one is for his par. Well done to this player who is able to tame TPC Scottsdale and walk away with the WM Open victory. And an impressive victory it was there, Luke, in front of 125,000 fans on this Sunday. That was impressive. And Rich, mark that down as one of the outstanding wins we'll see this season. It's always impressive when you see a player outshine their fellow competitors because all of these players are really good, but this player made everybody in the field look very, very average. So good was their performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.